Hi everyone. How are you today? I hope you are always healthy. Welcome back to my channel. Like always, today I'm going to show you amazing photos that will make you wonder about the advanced technology of the past. I got these photos on various Telegram channels. These photos are proof that a small occult elite of race to make the history to fit their narrative. Anyway, before I start, don't forget to subscribe to my backup channel, the link is also in the description box below. So, without further ado, fasten your pants and let's get started. Francesco Guardi Piazza San Marco in Venice, born 1712, Venice, Italy, died 1793. Are these children or adults in the painting? If you notice, the hanging laundry on the first photo, it seems easy for those people to reach. In the second photo, it would seem a hard task for people today to reach, unless they used a long device to remove it. Also, the size of the dog compared from the first photo is quite interesting. By the way, the Arch of Constantine is a triumphal arch in Rome Italy dedicated to the Emperor Constantine the Great, I discussed this last month. The first painting is from the 16th century, where you can see the height difference compared to the last two photos. I would think standing next to the arch would give a great reference to size. You decide. Before I continue the video, please give a like if you'd learned something. And, don't forget to subscribe, and also, click the notification bell too, so you won't miss any update. And, watch to the end, to avoid misunderstanding. Thank you. There are buildings with tall doors and windows just like this one, an unusual pattern for humans with a height of 185 centimeters. Who are its builders, and why history does not show anything about it? This photo shows the high-tension current being passed through the body before it excites the lamp's to incandescence. The loop is held over the resonating coil by Mr. Clemens, Mark Twain, from the April 1895 Century magazine. And this, Nikola Tesla sending 500,000 volts through his body to illuminate a vacuum lamp, in a multiple exposure photograph, circa 1898. After seeing the previous two photos, did you know, the violet ray and healing would have been almost totally forgotten, except for one man. Around 1900, Edgar Case lost his voice for months, and doctors were unable to help him. After he learned how to do self-hypnosis and diagnosed his own medical condition, he quickly regained his voice. Then he went into hypnosis and began to help a few friends with their health problems. Floods of desperate people flocked through his door seeking help for difficult medical conditions. In his lifetime as a psychic diagnostician, he gave 14,000 readings, in which he mentioned using the violet ray in more than 900 readings. St. Peter's Basilica Views claim construction began in 1506 and finished in 1626. Notice there are no roads to carry material for the construction. Notice how there are running water fountains, but during this time, 16th to 17th century paintings, people didn't even have toilets. Another interesting thing about these pictures, that could perhaps be pointing to the aftermath of a recent mud flood, are the large and varying amounts of dirt on the floor in several of the attached pictures, and how it seems they are still digging up the floor beneath, with the sides being piled up with dirt. Red Square, Moscow, Russia Image above, unknown. Image below. 1886. This is some of the most powerful evidence I've seen in regards to the mud flood theory. Notice the height of the building compared to the statue in each image. Also take note of the pattern ground in the top image and the dirt covered ground in the bottom image. What do you think about this video? Please like and share this video if you like it, so that more people are aware of what is happening in this world. Before I end this video, let's say thank you to everyone who took the time and energy to research this. 
they have done a lot for us all. Please subscribe to watch the next upcoming videos. Thank you for watching the video until the end, I hope this information is useful for all of us. See you on the next video.